Hi, I'm Jansen Lublin, and today I'm doing my persuasive policy speech on homelessness in the United States. Uh, every year it has become more difficult to live in today's society, and the total population of homelessness has grown to about 550,000 people. And of those 550,000 people, 200,000 of them live unsheltered and on the streets. Homelessness is a growing issue, and, should, and there should be more done to get less people on the streets. Getting people the essentials that they need, like food, water, shelter, clothes, and also some psychological help can really help them in the long run. Some solutions that can be done is getting new shelters put in, and it, this will all be started by getting some donations and loans to start the process. The total homeless population since 2007 has decreased about 15%, but since 2016, the homeless population has started to grow again. Over the years, there has been a change in poverty, and in 2018, the poverty rate has, has dropped down to 11.8%, which is really good and is the best it's been in a while. There are many people that are affected by homelessness, and it affects mainly the person who is homeless, also affects people around them like friends and family. And homelessness also affects taxpayers because a small portion of their total income goes into homelessness. And instead of the money going to other things in the community like parks and fixing roadways. Homelessness affects about 17 out of every 10,000 people. So this can just affect about anybody. Over time, getting these new shelters built will help many people, especially with having these shelters have new job opportunities for the homeless so they can get back, so they can get their career back and get back on their feet. One cause for homelessness is houses have become more expensive year after year. Every year, houses have increased by three to five percent. And another cause is there's a lot more competition in the work workforce as there's so many more people going out looking for jobs. Some solutions for fixing the homeless situation is building these new shelters. And that one will be well equipped and they will have jobs for the homeless to get back to get their jobs again. Also, they'll have new clothes and food that are usually donated by people in the community. And these shelters will also have psychologists that can give therapy to the homeless people that really need the help. Also, the shelter is able to help get new affordable housing for people who have gotten their life back on track and are now able to buy a new house or looking for a new place to live. The funding for this place will mainly come from the government, which already comes from the taxes we already pay. Also, some loans and grants and donations from other people will also be asked and needed to keep this operation going. There will be a decent amount of people working. There will be some paid workers at each location. Also, we ask that there's a lot of volunteers from the surrounding community and also many paid psychologists for therapy for the homeless. The the program starts off as a place for the homeless people to have a place to stay, a roof over their head, especially during cold months and out in the hot during the summertime. Also, there's a lot of essential things like getting three meals a day, and there's the psychologist that gives some therapy to the people that really need it. Once the people are ready to get back on their feet, there's people there to help them get jobs again by starting their new resumes, getting interviews, and filling out job applications. The, sh the shelter will be financially solvent later down the road, but at the very start, they'll be in a little bit of debt, but it'll take time and we'll get back on track and have the money to keep going. The people that will really benefit the most from this shelter will definitely be the homeless. The homeless will be getting a lot of essential things like food and water, and a, definitely a place to stay and options after they are homeless of getting new jobs 
and getting a new house. In conclusion, getting the new shelters built will really help get the homeless population less. And this can help a lot of the homeless get back on their feet and get back into the work. And a lot of these streets will be cleaner and safer for a lot of people to go on. Thank you. This has been my speech.